Hey guys, we're back here with Rob Tapper, and he's here to talk everything about uh, Reliance Boyd and the Odyssey of Stars happening this Saturday. So uh, tell us, uh, what, it, what can people expect from this Odyssey of the Stars? Good morning, Scott. Um, we're excited. You know, the university always honors uh, very uh, notable grads, and Lance Boyd is definitely someone who's extremely notable. Um, on Saturday night at the Denison Theater, we're going to have an opportunity to um, go into what Lance really loved, which is trombone and also jazz. Mm -hmm. You know, and there'll be also they um, they showcase a lot of the other aspects of the College of Visual and Performing Arts. Um, but we're going to have a lot of jazz, big band. He's going to actually kind of come up and uh, conduct a piece of music, one of his mm -hmm. favorites. We talked to him about so uh, all the pieces you've ever done. Which one would you like to conduct? And so he sent us that one. Um, also trombones. We're going to have. A, bunch of current trombone players and former trombone players, maybe like yourself on Saturday <laughs> night. Um, so th that should be touching for him. And then, like I said, there are other media arts and theater and dance uh, involved events on the program as well. Cool. Uh, so um, m for uh, many of Odyssey of the Stars, a lot of people who graduate the University of Montana go out into the world and make their mark. But with Lance Boyd, he uh, came to the University of Montana and made his mark at the University of Montana. So he contributed so much to the jazz program, which included like the Buddy DeFranco jazz program, yep. and something that you've inherited mm -hmm. from him. So how do you feel about um, taking up the mantle after Lance Boyd? Oh, it's a big job, and but you know, it's exciting because he came here, I think, I want to say in 1969, uh, he came here and then he essentially started the jazz program. So for over 40 years, he created that. He then created a jazz festival, which was later named uh, with this association of Buddy DeFranco. Uh, bringing stars from all over the world uh, to Missoula and that that part is really exciting and it's great for the kids it's not just great for the university music students but also the middle school and high school kids all around the Northwest um, this year we'll have uh, 48 different groups from all over the Northwest from Idaho Montana and Washington um, so it's just that tradition is fantastic passing along that language and that information to kids I love that part of it, I really do. So have you had any, um, form, like let's say, uh, like uh, when Lance Boyd retired, do you have any of his students who are freshmen when he retired and that are seniors or graduate students now? Most of the students I did, yeah, obviously, but most of them have graduated and gone on at this point. Uh, I'm not sure, I was talking to Johan, our saxophone teacher, uh, at this point I think most of the people are now out there. So. Um, like when he comes to rehearse, he's going to rehearse the big band today at 1 o'clock. He's going to come in and, and I'm not sure he's going to know any of those kids by name, really. He would have seen them in different events. He comes to everything, still comes to everything. Uh, small group, big band, all kinds of performances, the Alan Vizzuti thing the other day. So he's around and about, but I don't think he specifically recruited any of those folks. Cool. So what are you most excited about for, uh, what, what can people, uh, uh, what should people be most excited about for this Saturday? Saturday night, um, it's a showcase for the College of Visual Performing Arts. Uh, the Dean Stephen Com uh, shepherds this whole event, and uh, he gets a lot of help from the director of the School of Music, Maxine Remy, and his assistant um, Peggy Nesbitt and Sherry Ferguson and Christian Goldsteg. All kinds of great people come together and just do a big showcase of all the different things that go on in the College of Visual Performing Arts. Um, so there'll be just an opportunity to, to see what the students are doing what all, in the university. Um, there's a, obviously a fair amount of negative publicity right now about the university and budgets and what, but there are so many fantastic things going on in the university and what the students are doing and what they have their hands in and where they're going to be in five or ten years so they come back and get the same kind of honor. Um, so Saturday night you, you're going to get a chance to hear music, uh, cabaret, theater, visual, um, media arts, uh, dance, the uh, symphonic wind ensemble, it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, and the university has always been known as a fine arts program. Uh, it, 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 employ, it, it, it helps uh, people um, get, get together and express themselves artistically, and I think that's a great uh, program, not only with the music program, but also with all the other uh, uh, visual and performing arts at the university. Oh, it's fantastic, and the community is so supportive. This is one of the best communities on the planet for that kind of support and people come out because they, they love it, they love that, they love, it touches their soul um, and it gives people an opportunity to see and hear some really cool things. Cool. So uh, one more time, where can people um, get more information and also uh, when and where is this event? Saturday night, uh, Denison Theater at 7.30, Odyssey of the Stars, 
Um, you can go online and you can also, I believe, GrizzTix should have tickets for you. You can call the College of Visual Performing Arts ticket office. A um, number of different ways you can get tickets and come on. Don't miss this. It's also a big fundraiser um, for scholarships for the students that are in these programs. Um, that, that part's important because we want to get the quality kids and we want to make sure that their education is affordable for kids all over the country. Well, thank you. Is there anything else you want to say? No, thanks for having me. Really all right, thanks, Rob. It.